Heavy Grenade Launchers are receiving a 20% damage buff to bosses and champions coming up in Lightfall, which should put them in pretty good position to be the DPS meta. So today I'm going to do my best to quickly round up all the best Heavy Grenade Launchers currently in the game, as well as the best brawls you can get on each of them and where to actually find the Grenade Launchers themselves. Starting off with the obvious choice, we have our exotics like Anarchy. Anarchy got hit pretty hard with the damage and ammo capacity nerf a few months back, but it's included in this 20% buff specifically, which I think is going to bring it back right in line as a top DPS option for raids and Grandmaster Nightfalls. If you run Aeon Gauntlets and coordinate finishers with your team to regen heavy ammo, I think you'll do just fine. If you do want to pick up Anarchy, it can be purchased for Spoils of Conquest, the raid currency, at the exotic kiosk in the tower. Okay, moving on to legendaries. We have a lot of options here. We'll start with adaptive frames, as I think those are the best overall option for damage and ammo efficiency. Remember, I did say the best launchers, so I may miss a few. That's going to be either because the trait combinations are just garbage, or they're inaccessible to a broad range of players. If you really like Swarm of the Raven, it's not personal. Interference 6 is a really reliable option here with choices like Field Prep and Full Court for extra reserves, super fast reloads, and up to 25% extra damage if your target is 50 or more meters away. Might sound like a lot, but it all just depends on the boss. For example, you can easily get the full effect on bosses like the Sanctified Mind. Interference can also roll with Auto-Loading Holster in the first column, which is great for combination DPS if you want to pair it with something like Izanagi's Burden. You can also get Clown Cartridge and Demolitionist, which will result in extremely high sustained DPS since you could probably launch anywhere between 10 and 15 grenades before reloading. You can grab interference from the Dares of Returnally Loot Pool at this point since it's kind of an older weapon. And while farming Dares doesn't really sound fun to me, interference only has four traits in each column, so it won't actually be that difficult to get the role that you want. Moving on to a more relevant grenade launcher, we have the newly reissued Wendigo. It was great back in the day, and it's even better now with multiple awesome trait combinations as you can see here. Auto loading in full court, clown cartridge and explosive light, even something wacky like clown cartridge and golden tricorn. You know, you could potentially set up a kill with Wendigo, then get an ability kill and have 50% extra damage for 10 seconds, which is a long time. Another trait I'm interested in is auto loading plus cascade point. That'll ramp up your rate of fire once you get crits with other weapons. And with this combo, you'd have full ammo every time and then ramped up burst DPS because of the increased rate of fire with cascade point. Main point is there's a lot of different options here and it shouldn't be too difficult to get your hands on at least a half decent roll since it's in the nightfall rotation. If you get an adept roll even better since you can slap adept big ones and deal extra damage to both bosses and champions which would be really great for nightfalls and raids. Next up I've got Typhon GL5 another Amalon grenade launcher with solid perks almost like a bungee one to go if you don't want to play nightfalls. It can drop from the world pool so no doubt you've had a few come through your inventory at some point. In my opinion best roll in this one is probably grenadier for instant reloads and explosive light for increased damage on your first six shots after collecting orbs of power. Impulse amplifier for fast reloads isn't too bad if you land that as well. I actually really like this trait since the increased velocity makes it a little bit easier to hit the boss and it's kind of nicer for ad clear. So all the grenade launchers I just mentioned are adaptives. Like I said, I think those are probably the best overall for DPS in the game right now. But in case you have some rapid fire grenade launchers that you like sitting around in your vault that you want to dust off, we'll take a look at those right now. Also, it kind of goes without saying that Bungie's going to add a bunch of grenade launchers with new traits and combinations in Lightfall that might just be straight up better. We can even see some in the promotional footage that Bungie's using right now, so it's always worth pointing out there are going to be some good options to farm in the future, and I'll be definitely covering those. So if you want to see some videos on that down the road, definitely subscribe. First on the list for me is Tarnation, since it's both craftable and it has some solid perks like Field Prep, Ensemble, and Clown Cartridge, which you could pair with one for all for some improved damage. So being craftable, it's easy to get the perks that you want, and with the right setup, you could definitely dish out some solid damage. An encounter like Atheon, for example, would be a place that you could take advantage of one for all, and since Tarnation is craftable, you can always extend that duration with enhanced traits. You can earn the pattern for Tarnation from the Wellspring activity in Sarathun's Throne World. Love and Death is an easily farmable quest weapon from Eris on the moon, and can roll with pretty nice trait combos like Field Prep and Full Court, or Clown Cartridge and Demolitionist. It also has Swashbuckler and One for All if you want to get creative, and it's Solar, which might feed into certain damage builds better for Blade Rage Hunters or Well of Radiance Warlocks as well. It's worth noting because there aren't that many solar heavy grenade launchers with good rolls. I'll leave it at that for today. There's a pretty good number of options to choose from here, and I think between the new grenade launchers and Lightfall, our current legendaries, and then Anarchy, you'll have plenty to work with. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, like the video and leave a comment with your favorite GL out of this list. Mine's probably Typhon for now and will be one to go when I can actually get a good roll. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe if you want to support the channel and see more awesome Destiny videos. As of making this video, Lightfall is dropping in just a couple weeks and I've got a lot in the works until then and I'll definitely be doing a lot of videos once Lightfall drops. So make sure you turn on the notifications to stay up to date too. As always, thank you so much for watching. 
catch you guys in the next one.